Hi, how are you today? I'm back today to talk about multiplying by seven. So the last two days, we talked about multiplying by six and strategies that can help us to multiply by six. Today, we're gonna review some strategies to help us when we have to multiply by seven. Sometimes that can be a little bit tricky. So we're going to look at the page here that says multiply by seven. So here's a little, um, a little sentence here to help us kind of think about how we could multiply by seven. A group of seven can be quick. Five and two will do the trick. I wonder what that means. Let's take a closer look here. A group of seven is easier as groups of five and two. Five times a number plus two times a number is seven times the number. All right, so let's see what that means. So let's say we're thinking about seven times six. So if we think about breaking that, those seven groups of six into group of five and a group of two. So here we have our five groups of six and our two groups of six. So remember yesterday when we talked about the commutative property? Here's what I know about the commutative property. I can flip flop the order and still get the same answer, right? Because it's not going to change anything. If I think five groups of six or six groups of five, either way, I'm going to get the same answer. And I know I can count by fives, right? So if I thought of this as five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, I know that six groups of five is 30, five groups of six is also 30. So here's my five groups of six, 30. All right, and two groups of six, ooh, that's a double. Six plus six is 12. So there we go. Now I can combine 30 plus 12 is 42. <gasps> Super quick and easy. What a great strategy. So today, you're going to do the same thing as we did a couple days ago when we were working on multiplying by six. You're going to break it apart, find what is five times five, put that answer here. What is two times five, put that answer here. You're going to add those two together and that is going to tell you what seven times five is. There you go. So think smart, think quick. So there's your page for today for you to practice with multiplying by seven. Good luck, off you go.